Every day in Micah Cross, we'll be giving you an insight into what's going on in China and what Americans are dying to know about this country's unique culture that's trending in cyberspace. Let's start off with our first question. What kind of exotic goods are smuggled into China? China boasts the largest consumer market in the world and is a prime target of smuggling. Smuggled goods include not only weapons and drugs, but also a huge variety of exotic animal products used in traditional Chinese medicine, such as tiger bone, rhino tusks, and even bear claws. At the end of January, one such illegal shipment of 10 severed bear claws was discovered and confiscated at an airport in southwestern China, in the city of Chongqing. The news aroused plenty of anger from Chinese netizens who condemned the cruelty of the act. Let's see what they had to say. Humans eating anything and everything. Rich people are becoming more and more evil with what they eat these days, eating bear paws, cat meat, and even fetus soup. I've had bear paw before, just one bite. It was too greasy, but I didn't think it was that different from any other meat. Shameless humans. In this world, there is nothing more frightening than mankind. The rabble sure doesn't have the extra money to get these things. How about first finding out where they're headed to? This calls for severe punishment. Don't just punish the killer, because as long as there's a market, there'll be a source. Without demand, there is no supply. They all have to be punished severely. Corrupt officials once again have fresh stock to eat. What puzzles me is why is it that those who earn the most income are corrupt officials, those who have the most relaxed work are corrupt officials, and those who have the most women are corrupt officials, and those who have the most exotic delicacies are still corrupt officials. Why? Now we're going to hear from our regular web guest, Fluffy, for an opinion. The goods smuggled into China include many ranges, from cigarettes, wine, brand clothes, to extreme cases like bear paws and drugs. Predominantly is the cigarette. I also find an interesting phenomenon that there are increasing people who would carry high-priced digital products into China. These digital products may include computer, hardware, and sometimes iPhone and iPad. I think what we should keep in mind is that, without demand, there should not be so many smugglers, which indicates that, in order to put an end to these illegal behaviors, cutting off their sale access is a must, especially the internet sale channels.